Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Revelations. So apparently I actually got the book already. Or no, I guess I need to learn where the next book Enjoying is. The what are these men I thought she said porn. <laughs> Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? See, it is a subtle way to seek revenge. Ezio, I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here, and I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry, you are a busy man. Sophia, I would love to accompany you, but my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. Nessun problema. Are you sure? It would be a nice change of pace. Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade. Flowers for information. Okay, so... <clears throat> One thing I want to point out is if you couldn't tell, during the cutscenes, he doesn't wear the mask. That'd kind of be stupid if he wore the mask. But his, be his beard is trimmed a little bit when you have this armor because if the beard was the full length... Why is this taking so long to load? But if the beard was full length, it'd be coming through the mask. So... Yes, yes, that is a fantastic spectacle. I mean, seeing a crazy masked man, I still, I still claim that he kind of looks like a, uh, kind of like a Constantinople, like Doctor Doom. Just how the mask is shaped perfectly around his face, which is pretty amazing because this is a dead assassin's armor so it fits Ezio perfectly for being made for for somebody else just love how all the armors are one size fit all apparently or Ezio is literally the perfect like co a cookie cutter assassin size just every perfect and every great and an amazing assassin they were all the same size and also because it's been bugging me, kind of, it's been sitting right there, literally. Ezio has a nice shiny butt flap, basically. Look at that. I mean, let me get into a better angle. Look at how, look at the, how shiny that is. Everything else is dark and kind of, that thing is bright and shiny. See, look right there. Oh, shut up. Not even gonna kill you myself. Oh, oh, well, it doesn't matter now. Never mind, drop down. It must be the Byzantines that are scared of this armor. You look like a man with money to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, forgive me, but I am fresh out. Something else, perhaps? It is not my call, unfortunately. All right, listen. I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour, two at most. I am not waiting an hour. Trail him. I love how I literally jumped. Oh, 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 50, 50th, 50th, 50th. I gotta get the 50th. There we go. And that's what I thought. There we go. Once you hit 50, let me just jump to the map real quick. Once you hit the 50th data fragment, all the other data fragments come onto the map so you can see exactly where they are. I don't think I need 50. I don't think I need any more, though. It doesn't seem like, um, I mean, I've gone like 
it was every it was about every five that a Desmond mission would pop up. Well, it's been about what three, four, f like fifteen, I'd say. Like I was about to say three, four, five. So I'm thinking that's kind of a weird way to say that, but it's been about fifteen points since the last time a Desmond mission was unlocked. So, let's see, he's gonna go. He's gonna follow that. So I'm gonna go to the other side. So I assume that I have all of them unlocked, unless I'm just wrong and there's one more and you have to get like 900 of them. Which would be weird because there's only 100 of them. I think he's actually technically looking at me, but... Yeah, he wasn't looking like dead at me, he was just kind of looking in my general direction. Okay, he's over there, let's just hurry across real quick. Oh, luckily. Something I haven't brought up about it. Yeah, I wonder, are these white tulips? I'm just gonna hide right here. You do whatever you want to do. Yep. These are white tulips in in this area. Luckily, it doesn't matter if I... If he sees me now or not, so... Just gonna... Oh, here they are. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. We uh, interact. Wh Why is the camera shaking so violently there? And if he has to do that for every single one. Okay, I just need three. But still, if he's going to do that for every... He's going to do that for every single one. And that camera is going crazy. Just vibrating like crazy. It, it's like it's trying to get too close to Ezio there. And one more right over here. Click. Holy crap, stop that. That's getting that's actually messing up my eyes. So now we have three, which I thought a bouquet would be more like twelve, but whatever. And I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but I think where's this data fragment? Is it just right here? Or is it up there? If it's up there, I'm not going to go get it. It looks like it's up higher, so I'm not going to go get it. I don't know if there is a thing that if you get all 100 data fragments, you get something special. I might... Whenever I... Before I record one of the times, because I'm not going to say before I record next time, because I'm literally going to record two more videos tomorrow, and... Then the day after that, so I won't really have the time to sit down and waste. You know, because, again, I'm not going to be anywhere near my computer for about a week, so... I need to record about a week's full worth of videos. And up. Oh, and parachute. I almost pressed the... I did press the wrong button, actually. But I almost forgot to press the X button. I don't know why, but... You'd think the X button would be the easy one to remember. I just love that casual glide down with the parachute. That's pretty funny. And now doesn't this look like a romantic picnic? She planned it. What is this? A gift. Sit. She planned it the whole time. That's not sitting, that's lounging. Hey, we only picked three. I see five there, Ezio. Like thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. Yeah, you don't want to be a large role in this adventure. Normally, the large role people die. Me dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, see. Si. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough. Oh, soon enough. Just have to finish this romantic evening. And literally, she knew that you'd go get the two loves, so she basically said, hey, these are the flowers I want. Go get me some flowers. <laughs> I mean... I'm not kidding. That is quite literally what she did, so... Mm. Anyway, 
I'm going to cut out because freaking 500 whatever of running is not fun to watch. So I will see you whenever I'm there to find the book. Man, I really wish this was getting into the... I really wish I was finding the book and going into the final cavern to find the key. Anyway, here we are at the book. Or at the finding of the book. Getsio, the swirling thing of light, please. Not higher up on the freaking tower. Now, let's see if we can find this book pretty easily. Let's see, is it going to be the one... Actually on the ground. Okay, let me let me move the can and I can't really move that much closer. Okay. Not that one. That one looks out of view. But it's probably gonna be the one that's kind of out of view, isn't it? And another one's actually on the ground. I meant more on a flat surface. See? It wasn't gonna be the one on the wall. I figured it was gonna be that one actually. And off into the hay this time. Thank you. There's a time, as you can tell with my health, that I was trying to jump into a soft landing point like the hay or a thing of flowers or something like that. And Ezio decided, no, the ground looks more comfortable. So we landed on the ground and lost over half, the ha half, half his health. I really wish he didn't do that. It'd be very helpful if he didn't, but... You know, Ezio does. Ezio just doesn't like listening to what I tell him to do, and he just does what he wants to do. I'm surprised some of the Templars haven't figured out what I'm doing and finding all these keys. And again, the books look so bad in this game that they don't look like they have really any pages. They kind of look like those fake books. Like, they're thick on both sides, so you can... Oh, okay, that's just the sword. I thought that was like a... Never mind. But I was... Like I was saying, they, those don't look like books. They just look like fake books where you can hide stuff in them. Anyway, like I did. <clears throat> like I did to the book. I'm going to cut out until, uh, until I get to the f thing that's all the way back where I came from. Well, this is an interesting place for a book. Yeah, it's something I just realized, and wow, that water is loud for me. But, and you know, something I realized is I usually come back, start talking, and then enter another another load screen that I'm probably going to end up cutting out, so it's kind of weird that I come back anyways, but it's kind of just show where exactly on the map and the surrounding areas of this. I could just walk in and cut out until I start the mission. But, it's kind of just show where it is and how... How you're supposed to get there. Well, not how you're supposed to get there, but where the mission starts. And I'm assuming we're going to have some boating adventures here. Well, doesn't this look ominous? It's a good place to hide a key, though. And I think the mask just popped off his face. I thought it was there for a second and then disappeared. I, I wasn't exactly looking dead at him. But that's kind of what it seemed like. Obtain the mercy of key without falling into the water. Okay. Hopefully there's nobody actually here but me. Because I, I kind of like just the platforming puzzle, not any Templars. Because again, like I said, I wonder how, how people actually figure out where these are. That looks like the obvious place to go, but I could, and I am, totally wrong. Oh, 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 you're supposed to touch this. Like I said, I wonder how many, how people figure out where these are, because you have to find the books to figure out where the places are. And then, oh, I thought he had to do, oh, no, never mind. There, there's where we need to go. Hey, that doesn't look fair. The 100% synchronization is without falling into the water, but it looks like we have to fall into the water here. I know it's not the case, but it looks like water all there. There it goes. It all magically disappeared. And I mean, I think I, I have the book. I was thinking maybe the book actually shows where all the keys are, but... 
No, I think I have that book now, because I think I took it off that guy at the beginning that I killed. And I'm going to have to rush, aren't I? There's always timed. Yep, and at least we have a timer on screen this time. Remember last time, we just kind of have to wing it. Oh, don't you dare start doing camera crap. Okay, good. Made it here without any too, without too many issues. Oh, and that looks heavy. The one thing, just kind of randomly, I thought of. I wish we could uh, control, and I might need to check if we could. I don't think you can, but I wish you could control whether or not Ezio just Ezio wears the mask or doesn't, just during normal gameplay. Like. Maybe one day I just don't want to have the mask on. Huh? Oh, that releases the water. Um, opens up vents so the water can leave again. Good. The more the water drains, that's what I was looking. That's the word I was looking for. The more the water drains, the more I can't land in it. But there's still water down there, I assume. Okay, this is not gonna work. Okay, I forgot to press right trigger. But again, from the last episode, the back, the back eject, the jump from wall to wall does not work well, or does not work as, as intended some of the time, so I am always worried when I have to do the back eject. Well, you know, this is a video game, so if I screw up too much, it'll just r either restart me or I'll have to go all the way back. Oh, crap. I was thinking I don't exactly know which way I need to go, but I'm assuming... Oh, that was lucky. I can't... I really lucked out on that. Luckily, e <coughs> Ezio... I was about to say Desmond. Luckily, Ezio can kind of hover there for a second and... You can change what you want to do at the very last second. And if this was real life, I would be going around and wasting even more time. I still had like 20 seconds or something like that before I even got there, so it's not like it matters that much. But still. And more water drains out. So, I have a little bit more room to have fun in. Oh, it doesn't look like the uh, next switch is that far. I love how technologically advanced the assassins are. Well, just the assassins and the Templars, I guess you can say, are. Because there's no way all this stuff would been actually would have been made. I'm going the right way, aren't I? Nope, I'm not. Freaking... Okay, now that's just not even fair. And hold on, let me just... Is there a restart from checkpoint? Not to be... Nope, it's only restart memory. Damn it. Well, I wanted to restart checkpoint because I already screwed this one up and seeing if the checkpoint was anywhere close, I could just restart... Back a jack! Wrong way, you stupid freaking thank you. I already screwed up the timing on this, so I'm gonna have to reset if I can. Please just let let me. Thirty seconds later. Okay, now I can actually reset this stupid thing. You know, I said that thirty seconds later about thirty seconds too soon. Should have said it now. And the in the Spongebob narrator voice, but I can't really do that that well, so... Never mind. And everybody's done that joke, so it's not really anything new. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I thought that was close enough, but... Oh, looky! More of my favorite stuff. Back ejecting! Okay, good. At least... Well, I don't know if I've explained it well enough, but the reason with the back ejecting that it's not fair or not fun is because with the camera shifting, pulling back 
on Ezio is not the same as just holding towards me on the on the D-pad. So, once this all this stuff is gone, I could show it off a little bit better. And it looks like I just got rid of all the water. I was one away. See, if I'm holding if the camera's like this, back is technically tore uh, away from me. See, it's away from the camera. But now with Desmond, or Desmond, I said it. Now with Ezio looking that way, back is this way. So using that on the wall and having some of these crappy wall angles, you can be holding you can be holding what you think is back for this angle, which is slightly off, and it sends Ezio off to like the left or right slightly, and you miss your target. That's what's not very fun. Like this right here. You have to hold left to get the perfect jump. If you hold left and uh, like down and left a little bit, nope, you're going to miss. If you hold down and up a little bit, you're probably going to miss. Well, no, you have a little bit more leeway, leeway, it looks like that way. But still, it's just because of the camera angles and because of the whole switching what direction the control technically is makes it slightly harder at times. But uh, we're done. It looks like we're done here. Hopefully. Jerk, it would be a real jerk move. Oh, that just adds all the water back in. <laughs> Stupid old piece of crap. Got to kick it. Get get it to work correctly. Okay. Okay, that made me feel like there was something falling on top of Ezio very slowly. Like the gate was going to fall in behind Ezio. Do I still keep going straight? I keep going straight. I don't have my birds to tell me where to go. And you know, if any of this stuff was made for the hook blade to be used, eh, there'd be a problem. The hook blade, I don't think, was invented until recently in the timeline. I mean, that recent, like, probably, like, 14. In the, in, like, in the 14s, where this would have been probably made in the 1100s, if not early 12. We'll figure it out with, um, this next key. But I'm going to be starting the next episode with the, um... Altair mission. I thought I would be able to do get the key and the Altair mission in this, but I forgot that I didn't get the book earlier. Or, well, no. What I what I thought was I was gonna have to get get the book and then go to this and then do the Altair mission. The problem was I didn't realize that I had to do something to get to the book. If I knew that I would have done that a little bit done the oh get the white get the tulips earlier and where's my exit but get the tulips to her earlier so i would have been able just to grab the book and then oh we're just leaving i forgot about that but get the tulips to her earlier have that romantic picnic and so i w could have jumped right into finding the book in this episode getting the key, and then getting the Altair mission done. Since I didn't do that first mission, that little bit of a first mission, I had to do all this other crap, and it didn't help. Eh. Guess I'll know for next time if I ever play this game again. And I shouldn't have been talking through the load screen, but I'm ending the video pretty soon anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah. <laughs> you know what this, doing this stuff keeps reminding me? I still need to beat Assassin's Creed Syndicate and buy Origins, and that Origins. Oh, crap. What was the, what was the Assassin's Creed game that, Unity, and buy, I need to buy Unity and beat Unity so I know what I'm doing in Unity. 
I mean, it's pretty simple. It's an Assassin's Creed game. Go from A to B, kill everything. But kind of <clears throat> like in this game, I didn't actually know about any, like, the ultimate armor, the best, uh, the better armors until, well, I didn't, I knew how to get them because I looked it up, but I didn't actually ever do it until now. So, that's something I need to do, learn in Assassin's Creed 3. And then, buy Unity, play Unity, play Unity, beat it, and then find the armor that way. But, eh, I'll get to it when I get to it. I mean, yeah, I still have Assassin's Creed 3 before I have to get to Unity. No, wait, I have Assassin's Creed 3, Black Flag, which I need to play and beat. That could be the next game I just decide to pl sit down and play after I'm done with um, Mirror's Edge. Um, well, I'm just going to do Mirror's Edge, probably. Beat Mirror's Edge and probably jump into Black Flag after I'm done with this. Because I don't want to be playing two Assassin's Creed games at the same time. Because that just burn you out on Assassin's Creed. Anyway... I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and think about subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.